I'm a farmer from Wales, um, but I've had a day job of advocacy, uh, which has suited me very well because I believe that um, policy and uh, uh, ideas ought to come out of practice, inspiration through practice. But previously I worked with the Soil Association, which is the um, main UK certifying uh, body for organic farming, certifying and advocacy for organic farming, say really for about 20 years. And in 2010, actually, uh, I was approached by a number of people who said, uh, we mustn't confine the uh, sustainable agriculture movement to the organic movement, because that's a silo. And if we're going to address the uh, real challenges of climate change and uh, biodiversity loss and resource depletion, which are the result of 50 plus years of intensive farming, we need to reach out to all farmers and create an enabling environment, economic environment, where they can switch to more sustainable production methods. And we need an organisation to support that and be a catalyst for change. So I said, OK, and we set up the Sustainable Food Trust. Its mission is to work internationally to accelerate the transition towards more sustainable food systems. We've made a start. We're only small and we don't intend to get big, but we're here in Australia and we're thrilled to be here. Uh, the word sustainable, some people would say, has been hijacked and degraded um, and is used very freely without adequate definitions. And our response to that is, let's define it. So we've put a lot of energy over the last uh, five or six years into working on a set of uh, framework of categories, principles and metrics which we think will uh, measure uh, sustainability, uh, measure and value sustainability and potentially be a, an internationally harmonised tool uh, which would enable farmers to compare their methods with each other. So my farm in Wales, farms in Australia, we can use the same framework for evaluating the sustainability or policy makers who want to create a more enabling environment for a sustainable agriculture and critically uh, food retailers. Because if we could have a certification scheme that was based on the degree of sustainability of the products on sale, that would connect it all up. We are probably the most significant, potentially reversible contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. And what we've been discussing here in Sydney uh, is the potential of changes at scale in farming practice, which could re-sequester some of the carbon that has been lost from our soils throughout the world uh, in the post-war period. I don't want to be cynical about politicians because it is their job to be elected. Uh, they will respond if there's public pressure. So if the public understand the urgency of these issues and realise that the way our food systems are at the moment is not serving the public interest and express themselves in the uh, voting box but also in the shops when they buy their food, we will get change.